In SDCOM, you can build custom parts and multi-layered assemblies that include material and labor cost and standard units of measure that can be saved and used again in the future. Click Add Takeoff, select Catalog, and then hit Add Part. And in this first example, we'll build a simple single-layered part. Here we'll type in a part name, a description, we'll select a unit of measure, material cost, a labor rate, note that you can toggle between labor hours and minutes, and lastly, let's choose a catalog that we'd like to save the item to. In this example, we'll create a catalog called Custom and then hit Save. In the future, you can select this item by searching for it by name or by browsing through the material catalogs to the location like this. Now let's create a simple, multi-layered assembly with a unit of measure of each. And this time we'll select Assembly, which pulls up a search bar that we can use to locate our parts. And as we browse through the parts, we'll check the items needed and continue searching until we've added all the components that belong in the assembly. Keep in mind many items will be grouped in the same areas and you can use the search bar to continue to refine your search. Once you find everything, click Done. It's worth noting that the parts need to exist before you can add them to an assembly. Now let's adjust the quantities of each item as a ratio to the assembly. Keep in mind that an assembly can contain subcomponents with different units of measure, such as each or foot. And this will affect how you set the ratios. Now let's give our assembly a name, in this case duplex receptacle, a description, select a unit of measurement. You'll notice here at the bottom that the assembly cost and labor rate are derived from the sum of the subcomponents. You can adjust this on a per project basis in the estimating step, but it's good to understand how the totals are calculated. Okay, now let's make sure our custom catalog is selected and click Save. Like the part example earlier, the assembly is now available for use on projects and is searchable. Now that we've built a simple part and assembly, let's create an assembly based on a linear measurement. Now all the steps are the same as the previous example, so we'll jump ahead and focus on the parts ratio, which are different because it's based on how frequently you want the items installed per foot. In this example, we want to install one foot of conduit for every one foot measured, so we'll place a one here. However, we need to place the one hole straps and couplings every 10 feet, and we can do so using a one slash 10 syntax to accomplish this. And because we are installing three wires for every one foot of conduit installed, we'll use a ratio of three 